uh, joining us here uh, on the set in Las Vegas, the first player that Baltimore took tonight, Kyle Hamilton uh, from Notre Dame. Uh, you know, a wide variety of places. You, mm -hmm. I don't know how many mock drafts you look at or <laughs> right. not, but you visited a lot of spots, and you were – picked by a lot of different teams in people's mock drafts. So when Baltimore picks you, a spot that's always known for defense, what was that like for you? It's awesome. I mean, it, at the end of the day, the waiting game is tough, but I feel like I was picked by the right team. And uh, looking back 10 years from now, hopefully I'm just smiling. Um, looking back, I had a great career with the Ravens, and Baltimore's a great football city, great franchise. They've had continued success since I can remember watching football and have had great guys. Like, um, pretty, I think they had a safety that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> a linebacker that was pretty good, too. So, yeah. um, no, obviously, Edry, Ray Lewis, those are, those are guys who have set the foundation for the franchise. I'm excited to come in and contribute. I coached for Baltimore back in 2005, six and seven, and I said before you came up here, the standard is Ed Reed. Right. Is that going to be intimidating, or do you kind of relish that to try to get to that level you know, of uh, expertise? You know, you know Ed Reed, you know Ray Lewis, and that was what you just referenced. The 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 following in that footsteps there is a safety in Baltimore. I think it's a good thing to have. Um, there's always that bar that you're trying to reach and mm -hmm. exceed. I mean, and um, getting even close to that bar would be a Hall of Fame career. <laughs> um, so. Um, I'm excited to have that challenge, and I know it's going to be thrown around for however long. I'm a Baltimore, and or, or I'm a Raven, and it's it's it just comes with the comes with the title. But I'm excited to. Uh, I know being at Notre Dame, I don't know how much Michigan tape you watch. I had to call a couple Michigan games this year, and what Coach McDonald was doing with Dax Hill. I mean, that dude lined up everywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and I trained with Dax throughout the offseason. He was always talking about how he loved that defense and yeah. the flexibility. You never know where he's going to be coming from, if he's coming or not, and um, frees up other guys too. So. Um, and we were talking, Coach McDonald and I, on a visit, mm -hmm. and he's a great guy, um, knowledgeable. Um, but he's young and connects with players well, and I'm excited to um, why, connect with him. Why doesn't that shock me that you and Dax were working out together? I saw, I called a game against Wisconsin. I swear, I thought he decapitated the quarterback. <laughs> I mean, you're both hard hitters yeah. is, is my point. Yeah, you know? and it was me, Dax, and Jaquan, Jaquan Brisker were the three safeties that were training <laughs> There's together. There's another hard hitter. Yeah, so it was awesome to have those guys. Um, we're pushing each other every single day, and mm -hmm. uh, we're competing, but at the same time, we're all rooting for each other. It's awesome to form those relationships, and I'm, I'm excited to do that with the Ravens as well. Yeah. You may not appreciate this yet, <clears throat> but the stability of the organization. Right. You went to a place where it's that head coach is there. He's not going anywhere. The owner's phenomenal, mm -hmm. and he's very personal. He'll get to know you. And uh, you're going to feel everyone. Jim and I go there a lot. It's mm. it's really a privilege to be a Raven. Right, right. Yeah, I'm excited. It's it's one of those things where I'm I'm excited to come in and have the opportunity to win a Super Bowl right off the bat. When you um, went to visit, did you feel like you were pulling into a castle? <laughs> it's it's like you're pulling into a clubhouse, like yeah. a country club, something like that. But uh, no, I love it. I love the my, the DMV Maryland culture. Um, I got a. I was just saying earlier, I got to up my seafood palate a little bit, I guess. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, I'll expose myself to some more crabs and stuff yeah. like that. But uh, all, all I know as of now is just like crawfish and catfish uh, yeah, coming from go. Georgia and Alabama. So You yeah. are a proud member of the Fighting Irish, Notre Dame. Marcus Sorry. Freeman is taking over as the head coach. He was your defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. uh, give us a little uh, intel on Marcus and how do you think he'll do as the head coach? Coach Freeman and uh, Coach O'Leary, my safeties coach, was actually here in the green, green room with me. Um, He's one of those guys that's it's it's so easy to relate to him and take criticism and advice from him because you've seen him, you know he's been there and he's so relatable and breaks it down in a way that that isn't um, outdated I would say in that younger guys, especially 18 year olds who come in and may not be playing um, their freshman year and you know how the transfer portal is now. Um, so I think he creates a culture that guys buy in from the start, and it's going to be awesome. I mean, we'll see. First game of the season, we open at Ohio State, so we'll find out very quickly.